Hey, what's going on, y'all? Crow back here, back in the back room of Crow's back room. How you doing? I'm doing uh, all right, but uh, today we got another review, and that is not a tobacco review or an alcohol review. It will be a tobacco-free nicotine pouches review, and that is another Zen. This is the Cool Mint, still six milligrams. I have not seen Zen in any other milligram, so I'm sure they make a three milligram or something like that, but I've never seen it. I guess the store that I go to just doesn't bother picking it up because they know that uh, people probably want their nicotine, so might as well give them the six. And uh, the, <clears throat> the can was already open, but uh, it doesn't really have a sound when you, when you crack the plastic or the uh, paper. I mean, it, this one is plastic, but on a regular dip can, it would be paper slash plastic. But with this, it just kind of tears and doesn't really make any noise. And then you got to open it like a medicine bottle and kind of twist it and pull. And um, <clears throat> not trying to bash Zen at all, but this right here, like I just discovered this right now. This is the third pouch in this can alone that is busted open and <clears throat> if I scoot these pouches to the side I mean it's kind of hard to see but at the bottom of this can is nothing but nicotine salt because the three pouches that busted let's see if, yep four it's four pouches let's see if there's any other busted ones that's the one thing about Zen is their pouch design is good, but let me show you here. The pouch design is good, but uh, the the pinch on the end just isn't a good seal. So I, I feel like if they had a little more pouch on the exterior from where the pinch, where the seal is, then maybe it wouldn't bust as bad, but... Yeah, I think that's all the busted ones. My fingers are full of nicotine salt. Probably get my nicotine fixed, just uh, twirling my finger around in there. Happy Rusev Day, by the way. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and throw one in, I guess. Upper Decker. I'm just going to throw in one because, uh, for me, these Zen, just throwing in one, if I keep it in long enough, it does the job. Um... I'm going to toss these pouches down here. Technically, I don't really need to spit. But if I need to, Navy Work Uniform. My drug, how you doing? Not a sponsor. Uh, <clears throat> shout outs. Dirty Pat Walsh. Uh, Berg's Dip Reviews. Hmm, Two Wheels Dipper 98. Uh, Real Talk Studios, um, Suit and Tie, The Pachu Guy, uh, shout out to Crystal Crow, shout out to Wally, shout out to Big Chop, aka Chef Boy RG, um, that's all the shout outs I can think of right now, uh, the new subscribers, I'll give y'all shout outs as long as I can see that y'all are a new subscriber and you know the settings and all that. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely make that list soon because no joke um, a while back I was talking about making a subscriptions a new subscribers shout out list and then when I got on there all my new subscribers were hidden so I was just kind of stuck like I knew the numbers went up but I couldn't see any of those new people. So hopefully this time when I get on there and make the list, there will at least be a couple people I can shout out because I always want to give love back to the people that have shown love to this channel, to the Crow Show, Wayside Lee 83. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, again, back to the Zen. Cool Mint. It's good at first. I've had these a few times already, so I got a little 
uh, prepared for this video, I guess. At first, the Cool Mint tastes minty, and it's, and it's good and all. I would say this one overpowers the Spearmint one, because the Spearmint only got so spearminty. This Cool Mint goes from minty to just full-on blast, uh, vapor rub, almost. <clears throat> if it tasted any more like vapor rub, I might not ever buy Cool Mint Zen again, but I might I will buy Zen again, no problem. I really want to find the coffee because I know I've had that once but never had my own can to review and all. Uh the cinnamon was good and the spearmint was good, so with these uh nicotine salt pouches, at least with Zen anyways, uh I like them. Even though it comes with 15 pouches and freaking four of them were busted. At least the salt is still in there, so I guess uh, very carefully I could pinch some and just put it in my in my lip. But anyways, uh, to give it an overall number, I guess with the cool mint, uh, maybe. I give it like a 7 out of 10 or something like that. Because it's not bad at all. I'm just not, I'm more of a spearmint fan than a mint fan, so 7 out of 10, I feel like that's a fair number. I definitely recommend it for people that like mint. Um, and if you like your nicotine, of course, and if you're trying to get away from the tobacco. Because, uh, yeah, sometimes. I think it's the tobacco itself that's eating up your gums. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the facts. The, the tobacco is eating up your gums, not the nicotine. But, uh, you know, we could all speculate, have our own opinions. I guess I'll let y'all go, though. See you in the next review. Will it be a dip review, alcohol review, uh, chew review, uh, <laughs> cigar review? Even though I haven't done that in years. And I only did freaking two of them. Anyways, uh, you never know. I might jump back on the, the wagon of the cigars. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Wh whatever it may be. Crow out.